so hello everyone welcome to your pd education today we are here at iit roper and right now we are standing in the computer science department so today i got an opportunity to interact with one of the phd scholar ms surbi yes sir so right now ms surbi will be telling you her own experiences she is doing his phd here in computer science with research area of artificial intelligence so surbi could you please start by introducing yourself please yeah hello i am surbi madan and i am basically from muradabad up and i joined in 2019 under the supervision of dr abhinav dhar sir right so i'm not like currently working on uh, predicting the human center traits but right. more precisely on the prediction of personality and the behavioral trait right. how they are coordinated how they are related and so that i can make the this understanding for the prediction or uh, for the accurate prediction of right, these right, kinds right, of right, right, right. analysis okay so can you tell me brief about the you know curriculum of the phd scholar here in the iit roper you know how much duration you have for the course work and after that what is the next stage actually there are some stages here also like if you are a direct phd you have to do a 20 right. graduate okay and if you are joining just after your mtech your masters specifically mtech right. then it's a uh, all 12 credit you have to do within right. a, like 18 months okay after that you have to complete your comprehensive examination right, right. viva was and then thesis proposal seminar Usually it takes around four to five years. Okay, so you are here for direct PhD or PhD? No, I, I just joined after I'm taking it. Okay. Also, I was having some teaching experience also. Great, great, great. See, yeah. when we talk about the computer science engineering, this branch is usually you know considered as the job-oriented branch, right? Yeah. So nobody wants to invest the next coming five years in academics and in PhD because you can't anticipate what's going to happen after five years. Because in today's time, technology is changing very fast. There is disruption, you know, every year. So, yeah. what was your motivation behind joining the PhD? Actually, just before joining the PhD, I was working as an assistant professor. Okay. There, I realized not just academics is important for us; it's also that the research who plays right. a very uh, important role. True. Like uh, by doing the research, you can explore multiple areas. Right. You can't restrict yourself to like core subjects only. Right. So, it will create a uh, lots of opportunities as well. Or uh, we, I, we can go the R and D department also True. by just completing M Tech. I can join the IT sector any time. Right. But after completing my PhD, I've had more opportunities. Okay. So that will be like a beneficial. It's a one-time investor investment for the lifetime. Right. Great. We can okay, consider so this awesome aspect. So, ma'am, my question is behalf of the student community. So, why a student join PhD course in IIT Roper, ma'am? Sir, a frequent. Uh, sorry. Uh, uh, first, I should say like I am a mother of one year old daughter. So, IIT Roper is like providing me that much comfortable environment. My sir is so supportive, so that I am able to manage both the roles. being a parent and also the commitment to my research work so it is like the environment who is like pushing me to do my research so that's why i can i must say iit roper is like uh, giving you a very good environment to pursuing your research and also the other degrees as well and so. how much difficult for you to cope up with ai and ml as you are from the csc background yeah so initially it was very difficult for me to cope up with these new emerging fields but as we see we have course work we have expertise from multiple persons multiple professors available here also and uh, all the talks are organized by the outsiders as well so like we are having multiple resources it's just our hard work to invest to that work so the next what is the prerequisites required according to you for a student if he want to enter into the phd program like in ai or ml uh as of now he should be like very much comfortable with the programming languages which are emerging basically we are now currently working on the python so it is a uh, emerging programming so the student must be firstly comfortable with the basics so that he can like proceed further and also some research a basic of ml ai the basic concepts that uh, that are very necessary to like learn the uh, emerging topics Okay, so so we see many students uh, they actually want to do PhD, right? But uh, they are stuck somewhere in the dilemma because they are not able to exactly identify whether they are meant for PhD or not because they have listened <laughs> those theory from various resources that is a very rigorous journey, right? Uh, you need to put lots of effort and patience is required. Yes. So, sir. what is view your viewpoint on this? So it's it's uh, like individual style. I must say, like yes. PhD required lots of patience. It's a roller coaster ride, so you have to be mentally prepared for all the things. 
I was not prepared, but yeah, if you are having the supporting environment around you, you will be able to do that. Okay. What I am observing because when I joined, I was just married. Now I'm a mother of one year do or daughter. So like, if I would have not got the supportive like supervisor or the my friends and all, so I, I was not that. be able to do that. I but agree. yeah. I must say I'm able to. So you that. told that prior to this you were working as a faculty somewhere else, right? Yes. So yes, how sir. one individual can identify that whether he's uh, made for PhD program or not? According to your own experiences, what are those fundamental elements or characteristics one person should have? So if he or she is very much interested in uh, some research right. and some innovation, only then they can think about joining the PhD. Right. If they are like uh, focusing only on the a uh, job perspective or just uh, running behind the salary and the packages so i don't think they will be able to join the phd it's a commitment for at least four years right right, right. consistent commitment right right so when we talk about the computer science see there are two things one is the technology and you know which keep on trending year to year with the time right and uh, you know when we talk about the phd we say we should go with our research interest so how to keep the balance between these two things your own interest and the trending technology I uh, say, if like if I am committed to my research for now, it's a time period of four to five years. Right. So I am uh, dedicatedly committed to this. If I will be able to achieve this degree later on, I can balance with the other technologies things as well. Okay, because okay. in a job, you at the end you have to do a job either in at the academic part or in the IT part. Right. So you will be able to like. Uh, pursue your passion there as well. So it's not like we need to do all the things in these four years or five years also. We are, we have to invest time. Right, right. So it was a nice interaction and your insights are truly, you know, informative for the coming students. So right. what is the final piece of advice you would like to share with our viewers, especially who are looking forward to join IIT Roper for PhD? See, if you are, you want to join the IIT Roper, I must say you will be very happy after coming here. It's a very, here the environment is quite good. And if you are really ready to dedicate your years, at least four years to this course, then only please decide on that. You have to be mentally prepared. Your basics should be clear. Uh, and the other things you will learn after coming here, the uh, faculties are very good. And we are also having resources from outside. So you will be able, if you want to join, please go ahead. Thanks, Ruby. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.